welcome to another ride along with goggles and today we're in just outside of Amarillo at quality beef producers uh, courtesy of recon and driver 47 and we're heading for Socorro with um, I believe it's do we have empty oh I can't remember if it's empty containers or fertilizer let's have a look uh, oh grain interesting well, there we go. Start her up here, I guess, and we'll get going. So this is Route is 379. It's the very first time I've driven it, and I even flew over here. So, as uh, I'm just flat out of time, but we got a nice early morning here. It's awesome, and uh, we've got a pister weight trailer on the back with the Hell Creek skin on it that you haven't seen yet, and it should be coming out soon. I hope. I think Recon was saying you could go out. Yeah, I could go out here too. Okay. Instead of driving all around. I hope so. But uh, so far, I like the truck. And once again, two days in a row, we got a barometer left of the steering wheel there, which is really cool. It looks like the same one from his uh, 362. The light comes up a bit here. We'll get a look at this trailer skin. Got the uh, Z Mods uh, DD60 in here. Put up the window so we can hear. I wonder if I got that uh, camera working here. Oh, dude, good. Yeah, so we have the uh, arrow deflector on top. And it can be put in two positions. So it can be up or down. It's kind of neat. And being a uh, 379, the back of the sleeper is solid, no window, which is awesome for putting big graphics on the back of the sleeper. I really like it. I guess it's a yield for people oncoming. Well, that's strange. Here comes somebody. Yeah, we would have had to yield to him. more of this sunrise. There it is over there. Nice. That's awesome. After 100 yards, turn left. that I stopped at a stop sign. I did yesterday too, <laughs> just in case you missed it. <laughs> this 53 foot tarp side, it really turns like a long trailer. I think the uh, kingpin's pretty far yeah, see the kick pit's pretty far forward on the trailer, which pushes the trailer way back, and it makes it like it has a longer uh, wheelbase. Turn left. Good thing about that, I guess, is it tight some room. In uh, tight quarters, you're not going to, you know, if you're turning and that front corner of the trailer sticking out, uh, it's not going to stick out very far with the kingpin that forward. So another thing is, 
you can put that um, little uh, onboard trip computer thing on the uh, where I have it uh, on the right I think near the center or on the dashboard you know once again you can run through the things that are on there trip economy oil temp oh this guy's got to wait sorry buddy under control here but uh, oh shoot Yeah, so this skin is up on Steam. I'll put a link in the uh, description. So I did an update skin for the Johnson Trucking, and I was able to include the 379 in it. But I went to do the same thing with the Hell Creek skin, where I updated it. For some reason, it kicked the new skin out. I'm not sure why. So I just uploaded this as a whole new skin, so you have to subscribe to it. With the... Uh, if you have the Johnson trucking, all you got to do is either, you know, maybe by now it's already active because I did it, uh, I think, oh, sometime in the afternoon. So if your game is refreshed, your Johnson skin's already got the uh, 379 in it. And this one, you'll just have to subscribe to the new skin. I'm going to try upgrading all of the 389 skins I did as best I can but it's going to take a little while there's a surprising number of differences between the trucks things I didn't really expect so we've got uh, number one the sills uh, you know side us the side like where the armrest is here they're higher by about Oh, good three or four inches. The hood's shorter. The uh, shorter and straighter. Looks more like a 359 hood. So the uh, hood logo and everything is further back. So if you do anything, uh, excuse me, if you're doing anything like on this skin where there's a, uh, I put rope around the uh, Peterbilt logos. Uh, so it's in a different location for this than the other. Than the 389. That's no biggie. Uh, the other thing is the template for the new 389 is different than the old 389. Part of it is the back of the cab is relocated. So if you put a stripe, like say you take a stripe from your existing 389 skin and you put it on the uh, new 389, the rear stripe is going to be too low. Uh, by I figure if you're doing 8192 like I do, you're going to be 21 pixels low on your back stripe. tank if you've got a fuel tank label on it it's got to move to the other end of the tank and the center of the tank is moved slightly it's in a slightly different place Jeez, looking for another gear all I had to do was move the splitter forward <laughs> uh, anyway uh, yeah quite a few changes what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is uh, I might make a little tutorial. I gotta finish the uh, advanced skinning one. I'll finish that on Monday, so you might even see it Monday evening. Uh, and then on Tuesday, I'll probably make a video tutorial on how to upgrade the skin for the uh, convert your 389 skin into 
something that'll fit the new 389 as well as uh, the 379. Show you the tips and tricks to get it done. I've done two and I learned quite a bit. It was a lot different than I thought it was going to be going in. enough now we can get outside here and we'll have a look at stuff. So the skin's got a nice little ranch on there. Got Owl Creek mud flaps. The one that uh, uh, Pister is going to use, I did a couple. This one has the cow calf that's on the tanks on the front of the trailer skin. And uh, I did one with the skull that's on the side of the tank on the trailer as opposed to the cow calf that's on the end of the tanks and uh, Pistor Modding, uh, they seem to think that let's go with the uh, skull on the trailer so he has that already But the truck is uh, pretty smart looking. I, I really like it. I like the straighter hood. I like the uh, there's no droop in the hood. It's like a, it's like a 359 straight up. And uh, so it sits a little higher in your view, but I don't mind. Um, I like the dash. Looking forward to having different interior colors on all the uh, plastic parts. We're kind of stuck with uh, gray now but theoretically that'll get updated I'll have to look and see what's in the open depth you know could be things to modify stuff like that in the open depth I don't even know I haven't looked I'll look tomorrow Yeah, I'm really liking this truck. So the nice thing about the higher door sills, <laughs> if your guy likes to do skins, you got more real estate on the door to do stuff in the window over there is smaller. Oops, oh, did we just wipe that guy out? Oh, he hit the brakes. Um, yeah, that uh, little window over there is smaller. So you got more room on the door. I'll show you what I did. Uh, we can get a second. We got straight away here. We'll get out and look. So the Hell Creek on this truck, on the 389. Oops. On the 389, it's all kind of crowded up on the door there, but I was able to move it forward on this truck, which is cool. So you can think of other, like the, you know, the Flatbed Brothers. Right. How far right? Right and left, it looks like. Keep left. So when I bought the game, I got all the DLC. It was on a Christmas sale back then, and. So this uh, New Mexico was already in it, but that interchange must have been quite a buzz when when it came out. I know the first time I saw it, I thought, wow, that's pretty cool. I like the colors. These are all sort of southwesty colors, looks great. Let's see if we can get a peek at the back of the cab here in a second. See, there's uh, no window, so you can put that skull up there nice and high. 
So the trailer, this is a step deck with tarp side option. So when the tarp isn't on it, you get, you can, oh, the cops are after me. You can have Hell Creek on the, well, you, it's there on the, uh, Keep left. on the chassis of the trailer. We got uh, painted uh, toolboxes. Once again, I'm using uh, uh, Retro Development's 22.5 low tires, so they're very small, and Smarties 22.5 uh, Alcoa old uh, logo chrome uh, rear wheels on the trailer. So those 22.5s work with the Retro Development 22.5 tires and give you a nice low profile. Same as I do on the uh, NASCAR hauler. Same combination. What do we got? 15 miles left. Yeah, we're getting there. Darn, I didn't even get a photo. Do no crashing here. Keep right. After 50 yards, exit right ahead. Exit right ahead. that we caused back there. Oh, <laughs> he stopped and probably got run into by the guy behind him. Oh, that's not good. Not good at all. Keep left. After 50 yards, turn left. So we're heading over to the rail yard. See, yeah, so we can, so we can see the straighter hood. It comes pretty much straight off, which I, I really like that. And uh, <clears throat> what else? There's an option for big steps now. That's kind of cool. Um, I didn't even go through all the exhaust options. The rear bumper is going to be a bummer to paint now, though. But I can't remember if I was painting, putting good paint jobs on the 389 bumper. I know I can on the W900. Yeah, maybe the uh, Classic XL. I don't know if I was able to put stripes on it before, but it's on an angle in the template. And stripes drawn on an angle, they look terrible. They look all kind of fuzzy and indistinct. Oh, this is the same real, uh, yard we came out of, maybe, well, maybe, with the Pratt Coil trailer, I think. After 100 yards, turn right. Yeah. But I like the uh, dash, I like the gauges. Turn right. After it's all really nice. Yards, turn left. This trailer, let's see if it goes turn across left. the curb. Oh, oh, we just nicked it. I say it's pretty long. 
I, I guess what I'm si trying to say is it turns really long. Especially that, uh, like you say, that uh, kingpin right up at the front of the trailer like that. You have reached your destination. Uh, I wonder if a pistol will eventually put under cables on this. Let's see, where the heck are we? Where's that? Oh, yeah, that's that typical spot. I remembered to turn Truckee on to, uh, I haven't had it on for more than a week, and all my trips aren't getting logged with uh, my Hell Creek trucking, uh, well not my Hell Creek, the uh, Hell Creek uh, VTC that uh, Snowman started up. Yeah, so the cow calf will be gone if these skins do come out with the trailer, which I hope they do. Um, well, if not, I have them. I could just publish them, but I'm pretty sure he's going to put them in with the trailer. Uh, I, yeah, you'll get the uh, skull on there in place of that cow calf thing. Well, it looks like I came in there too shallow. Might get it anyway. Nope. A little less, yak less yakking and a little more backing. <laughs> That's what we need. I didn't even explore all the chassis options for this truck. But we'll get to it. We'll we'll do some other different things with it. So I guess I'm going to pull the tarp off and off offload it from the side. Obviously, you don't end load these. Okay. Well, here we are. Signed, sealed, and delivered. Oh, key's over here now. Uh, been, been a week of long days. <laughs> Another week starting tomorrow. Let's see what we have in store. Oh, 327. Great motor. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's a neat little truck. Um, some different configurations for the uh, lights and horns. Uh, different options there that we're used to seeing. Uh, like I say, there's some different um, tanks. This is a different uh, side panel. Uh, the tank is longer. There's two different lengths of tank now. And um, the label's only going to work with... Um, which tank? I think it's a longer tank on both trucks, on the, this and the 389. Because they can't... Well, I could do both, but it would be a whole new skin just to get the tank. So we'll see if there's a lot of complaints and everybody's making uh, going on about it. Well, we'll we'll change it. There's different. Uh, oh yeah, and you see the 379 grill, of course. It's straighter across the top. It doesn't have the little slope. And 379 lights, and we got an optional 379 uh, fender bar down there. There's different versions of that available. Um, all in all, pretty cool. Pretty happy with it. Well, I mean, obviously, I bought the truck years ago, so it's all free. So, very nice. And then the uh, deflector, good stuff. Anyway, I well, hope you enjoyed it, guys, and uh, look forward to more coming. And uh, also look forward to this Wade step deck. Uh, it's going to be pretty cool when it comes out. So. And uh, yeah, I'll have to do some loads with it, with the uh, with the tarp off, and see what's going on there. 
Anyway, thanks again for following along. We'll catch you on the next one, and bye for now. Uh -huh.